His sister says Kenneth Bai never had trouble before when he traveled to North Korea five times last year. He's only had the, the biggest heart for the people and the nation of North Korea. And, um, you know, he's, he was really happy that he was helping in some small way to their economic growth. The 44-year-old Korean-American from Linwood, Washington, operated tours from China, bringing in businessmen. He was arrested in early November in Rasan, North Korea, a special economic zone near the border with Russia and China. This week, he was found guilty of unspecified hostile acts. He's generous and giving, and maybe he would have, he could have delivered um, bread to orphanages once or twice. North Korea, a country where many people are malnourished or even starving, is extremely sensitive about food. After Bai was arrested, U.S. officials told CNN he was involved with a Protestant religious movement. That, too, could infuriate the North. On his eight trips to North Korea, former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson has been a go-between. In January, on a trip with Google executive Eric Schmidt, he took a letter to Kenneth Bai from his family and asked to see him. The North Koreans were saying he'd committed a crime, but they also said they were very mad at the United States for additional sanctions that we put on at the U.N. after their underground blast. And I said to them, look, this is a poor man on a humanitarian mission. Let him go. Now, Bai is sentenced to 15 years in a labor camp. But Richardson thinks there's hope he'll be released. This is what the North Koreans do. They sentence somebody in the last four or five, then they extract the price, you know, a visit by a high-profile person. That's what happened in 2009 when the North freed American journalists Laura Ling and Yuna Lee to former President Bill Clinton. For now, Kenneth Bai's friends have started a website, Free Ken Now. He liked helping people, they say, and now it looks like that got him in trouble. And potentially there could be three people who could go to North Korea and at least try to get Kenneth Bai out. And that, of course, would be Bill Richardson, Bill Clinton, and Jimmy Carter. But with this unpredictable leader, no longer the new, young uh, leader, uh, it, it's certainly Kim Jong-un. It's really uh, very hard to say how this is going to be resolved, Jim.